Uh, welcome back to another web development video where I show you how to make modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about using a specific CSS grid layout uh, property that's called grid template. Now, what grid template does is it uh, normally you would put grid template columns and grid template rows and expressly do each of one of those to, to tell how many columns and how many rows there are in your grid. What grid template does is it allows you uh, to write a shorthand uh, to put both of those things into the same property. You can actually, if you're using the grid areas, you can also put that in there, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Uh, I've yet to find a practical uh, reason to use grid areas. Uh, I don't use it in my daily work, so I don't Tend, I mean, I understand it, but I don't tend to get a lot into grid template areas. Maybe if I can find a project that it makes sense, I'll do that. So let's look at our code. Uh, we have <coughs> a grid here that I've laid out with uh, six grid items. You can see our grid items over here. I've just given them different colors um, just to be able to set them apart and give them, given them a little bit of styling. You can see here, you know, there's just, I don't know, it's just a flexible little grid. Uh, I have not applied any grid styles to the grid yet. So this is normally what we would do. <clears throat> we would come down to the grid and we would say display grid. And then we would go grid template columns. And then here we want to set out how many columns we want to uh, set for our grid. So let's say we want to do a two column uh, grid. And you can see here that it's made the change. Uh, one takes up 50% of the space, the other one takes up 50% of the space. That's just sort of where our grid is. Um, so this is normally how we would do it. And then if you wanted to make any of the rows explicit, you would do grid template rows. And make sure that gets over there. And we have to do the semicolons. And so we would do grid template rows, and we would make sure uh, that we're doing, I don't know what this does to it, um, nothing, apparently, because there's no height applied to the grid. So this is, this is the height of the grid. It's, it's based on the content inside. Um, a lot of times I will just do auto uh, for the grid template rows. <coughs> and just let everything sort of spill down the page as it comes. Okay, so, um, but you could al always do, you know, something like that where you explicitly uh, say which, how high, what the height of each row will be. Sorry, I've been away for a while, so it's going to take me a while to, <laughs> to get back into my, uh, into my train of thought when I'm doing the videos. Um, <coughs> So instead of doing this, we can now declare uh, grid template, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, both of these things. So the first one is going to be the rows. So let's take the rows here. And I'll just copy that and put that here. And then we're going to do a forward slash. And then on the other side, we're going to do the grid template columns. So we'll do our columns here. Let's run those out. And you can see that we wind up with the same exact grid, right? We have the, the rows uh, at auto 200 and 400. And then we have our, our columns here. So if we just change this to 1FR and we did a three column layout, you can see how that still changes, even though we're only making the single declaration. So if you want to save a little bit of time and a little bit of space in here, uh, the one thing that might be a little bit tricky is to remember which which one comes first, right? If you wanted to just do uh, auto, then you would just set one auto declaration there for the rows. And I haven't checked to see what happens if you only do one declaration, nothing. So this actually requires two pieces of information. So if you don't do the grid template areas, that's okay. 
but you can't <coughs> you can't just set out the columns so if all you want to do is set the columns you should just use uh, the grid template columns but if you have explicit columns and rows uh, at different heights or widths then you need to um, set them both with the grid template uh, not just one okay so that is the grid template uh, property for CSS grid hopefully that gives you a nice little shorthand uh, you can always learn more uh, about CSS grid online um, Rachel Andrew Andrews is a good person and uh, CSSTricks.com has a great uh, tutorial and guide uh, there's also uh, Rachel has done a website called <coughs> grid by example and which is also really informative and she is the one who sort of spearheaded the uh, CSS grid through uh, to become an actual web standard so she's very knowledgeable about all the different pieces and there's lots of videos and tutorials and things on there if you have any questions uh, please leave them down in the comment section below I'll be back making videos on a regularly regular basis I think and uh, <clears throat> when I reached out to the community we got a lot of uh, feedback on CSS grid so um, I'm hoping to do a lot more grid videos uh, maybe getting a little bit more into the nitty-gritty or building real projects using CSS grid and just showing you how alignment works how um, building out different layouts at different sizes works uh, the beautiful part about this is that now you can put uh, a media query and then at that media query you can change rows and columns all at the same time so that that makes for a nice little um, mm, it consolidates your code a little bit so hopefully this is helpful to you uh, if there are specific things that you want to uh, learn more about leave them in the comment section uh, if there are questions that you have leave them down there and I'll get to them as quickly as I can uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time